In this video, we're going to take a look at the basics of using Nmap. We're using this through the Zenmap GUI. It runs on Windows, Mac, Linux as well. Um, we'll just take a look at various um, different profiles and some results here. So our target window is simply the IP address we want to scan. So in this case, we're going to put in the address of a camera. Uh, profile is simply preset scans so uh, the intense scan will give us uh, more detailed information and will give us uh, different service versions so if something's running a telnet server for example it will attempt to identify what telnet server it's running um, we can vary which ports we're scanning intense scan will scan um, about a thousand of the most common ports um, we can also change that to all tcp ports so we'll see uh, it's now scanning 1 to 65,535. Um, we can have it scan UDP. Um, UDP also um, takes a really long time. So a UDP scan, a full UDP scan, it's going to take about an hour, where an intense scan of all ports is going to take about half an hour. And if we take a look at just a regular scan, which is simply um, Nmap and the IP address, uh, this is only going to take about 5 to 10 seconds. So this is going to start scanning. We'll see results start popping up in the window. And 6.45 seconds, it's done. So taking a look at our results, we can see the port, uh, whether it's open or not, and the service it's running. So it also shows us that there are 994 closed ports that it scanned. So notably, we have HTTP and RTSP. These are by far most common on cameras. Um, every single one we looked at had these open. Uh, many have HTTPS, which is 443, open as well. And UP, UPnP is also fairly common. So in this case, Dawa has port 5000. Uh, we have seen it run on 49,152 as well, which very well could be what this is. Uh, just another UPnP port. So once we've gotten this information, what do we do with it? We can then run an intense scan and we're just going to say let's take uh, we want to look at telnet for example port 23 so we'll take this we're just going to edit this line instead of typing out the command uh, hit enter and this is going to run an intense scan of just this one port so this will hopefully get us information about what telnet server the camera is running um, we'll see if it can resolve so uh, again, this only took a few seconds. This was under 10 seconds to scan this. We have seen it run uh, much longer, even for a single port. But we did indeed determine that it was running BusyBox Telnet D 1.0. So that's the exact version of the Telnet server uh, running on this camera. So then we can take that version, put it into Google, look for exploits, that sort of thing, see uh, if we have security issues there that may, we may want to remedy. Um, so that's um, basically what we can do with an intense scan. Uh, the other thing we will get, um, it will tell us, for example, uh, the, the OS that the camera is running. Um, generally, cameras, DVRs, NVRs, they're all going to say Linux of some sort. So we haven't seen any that have come back as not Linux. Uh, we've found some that it was impossible to tell simply because it said uh, it was too vague. But generally, you're just going to see Linux there. Um, it will also resolve the MAC address to the manufacturer. So using the OUI, in this case, the, uh, the first six digits or characters of the MAC address 90.02.89, a uh, resolves it to uh, DAWA. So this is a DAWA camera. It's looked up that OUI to identify it as such. And that brings us to the other thing we can do with this. Uh, we can actually do what is simply called a ping scan. And this is going to ping all the devices on a specific subnet. Um, we can either enter a star for the last uh, octet of our IP address. We can also do a specific range. So we could do, say, 10 to uh, 30 um, or 10 to 254, let's use in the case of our network. And this will scan this range. So we'll go ahead and just hit this. And this is simply going to ping devices, tell us whether they're up or not in this case, responding to pings. And it's going to take their MAC address, uh, identify the OUI, and take a guess at the manufacturer of that. So we'll see. It's done. It scanned 245 IP addresses. 33 were up. 
took 13 seconds to run that scan and we do indeed have uh, MAC addresses here uh, latency for everything it has identified uh, various manufacturers so we have Aracont here uh, we have Sony 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 we have quite a few Sony cameras up right now as well as Axis um, some Dawa Asus computers etc um, not all of them will be identified for example this simply says private um, we know that 225 in this case is a hike vision camera so it's not identifying that as hike vision we also know that uh, 00001b these are actually our super low cost chinese cameras they both report as novel um, it could simply be the components that they're using it's not reporting as Cantonk or long c so uh, this is another use for uh, nmap simply to scan a whole subnet and see whether things are up or down uh, what devices are on that network